There are, of course, many things that you can do once you have grouped the parts and many reasons, therefore, to group them in the first place. Um, here's an example of a couple of things when it comes to modeling, merging, subtracting, and doing a Boolean AND operation. What I mean is basically you have a arms object, that's this one here, currently selected, and you can see I can move it around and in and out of that body, and that's the other part. So if I group these arms and put it into the uh, the body, um, I can now do a couple of things with that. Uh, one of them is, of course, even actually without grouping them together, I could do a quick merge all. Uh, be careful though, you will lose the original parts. So this quickly does the job, but you can't quickly, you can't easily go back. So save your data before you do that. However, you can also do this here. Notice what happens on the left side when I do a merge group. Okay, so first of all, I need to select the group. There it is. And then I'm going to select merge group. And when I do that, it does a merge operation. Okay, but it doesn't delete the original parts. They're still there and they're still visible. That might be a little bit confusing. It might look kind of dirty and messy up here. So what you want to do is select the body part again, hit H for help or go to the object and select uh, H, right? Hide, um, H for hide, I'm sorry. Uh, and that will basi basically hide it. So the only thing left is the parts that have been merged. And that's the, qu uh, the quad mesh right here. Okay, now you can use uh, Shift S as usual to smooth this. And in no time, you'll see a beautiful transition between the two parts. So this was a merge operation. Now let's take a look at another example. I'm going to delete or at least hide the quad mesh we created here. And I'm going to go back to the body and unhide it by simply hitting H again. And now this time I'm going to select the body again and I'm going to try to extract the arms, basically doing a, a hole, cutting a hole through it. That's also a, one of the Boolean operations here under the uh, modeling. Uh, it's subtract children, right? The arms are the children of the body that they are attached to. So if I click that, you will now see again a new mesh. The body is still there and visible. I can click it and hide it. And the only thing left is the body from which we have extracted uh, or cut out a hole with the arms object. And I can rotate that around. You can see the nice little Boolean operation. Again, I can hit, hit shift to, uh, no, I need to select that first. Then you can, you can shift it and you know shift uh, S to smooth it really quickly and get a nice uh, result out of that. Now I'm going to do one more and that's the uh, hiding operation first of this queue and then go back to the body, unhide it. And then this time I'm going to do the last one of the three booleans and that's the uh, merge, excuse me, the boolean and, which will show what's common to both the arm and the body. All right. So when you do that, you can go and hide the body as usual. And the only thing left now is what was common to both the body and the arms. Uh, that's the Boolean AND operation. So basically you see that here and, and once again you can do a shift S to smooth it and get a nice uh, organic look to that. So that's uh, the type of things you can do once you have grouped it. You are then able to use some of these Boolean operations. Merging groups, um, subtracting children and the Boolean AND. Always pay attention to this too, by the way. If you don't have a lot of memory, make sure you don't overdo it. Merge properties here allows you to indicate how much, um, you know, how fine that mesh is going to be. So uh, if you need a low polygon, if you don't care for much detail, you can even keep it rough. I usually work sort of in a medium environment, uh, but when it's really important to do a very high density, high quality meshes, you may want to go all the way with fine uh, but that will take a lot of memory. Keep that in mind.